Hello everyone. Today we are going to take the Merchant of Venice, Chapter Five, The Chives. It's in your story, page twenty-one. Bassanio arrived in Piedmont with his faithful servant Gratinio. Portia was so happy to see him, and she wanted him to stay here for some time in Piedmont, where they could meet and talk before he made his choice of the caskets. She liked Bassanio, and she was worried that he might not be able to make the right choice. And then she would, she would lose him forever. Yet Bassanio wanted to go for the choice game immediately, so Portia took him to the castle. So now Bassanio arrived to Mel Belmont, where Portia lived and Portia liked him. She, she wanted to help him. She wanted to give him some advice. Advice before choose the casket. Because if he lost or if he falls, she will lose him forever. But he wanted to go for the choice game immediately. If you really love me, you will be able to find my picture, she said. So Portia told him that if he really loved her, he will find her picture. Bassanio started to study the three caskets carefully, and he thought that he had learned throughout his life that he shouldn't judge by the appearance. Gold and silver may be beautiful and shiny, but maybe they hide some ugliness inside. And the lead caskets promises nothing, in fact, and threatens more. It is made of strong and heavy metal. Perhaps it holds a valuable thing, or it is very heavy and strong to save or protect a valuable thing, which is Portia's picture. It also tell me to be ready to give every. It also give him to be ready to give up everything, or to give everything, and he is certainly ready to do that for Portia, because he love her. So he decided that this is his choice. So Bassanio took the key of, uh, of the lead casket from Borsha, who was so happy and relieved. And when he opened the box, he, find, he found a picture of Borsha and a note that congratulated him on winning, winning Borsha as a wife. So now he chose the correct one or the correct caskets, which have, which has Portia's picture. Then he, he said, I have won your pictures and have won your picture. Now I dare ask you if you will marry me. Said that, he said that, Bassanio said that to Portia. And she answered him, yes, Bassanio, I will. Portia took off her ring and gave it to Bassanio. And she told him that she wants, she wants him to wear the string and never lose it or give it away. Because with the string, she gives him her love. And if he stops wearing it, your love will end. So Bassanio took the ring and put it on his finger. And he said that, Portia, you can be sure if the string Leaves my finger, I'm a dead man. Gratini and Russia approached the happy couple to congratulate them to disclose some good news. What do you think was the good news? Gratini said, I have, I have some news for you. And he was, and we have a smile on his, and we ha, he has a smile on his face. He said, just as you have found your love, I have found mine too. Zayn like and Portia were puzzled. What does it mean? Gratini laughed and held up Nerissa's hand and said, I think this is love at first sight. Portia and Bassanio start looking at, at Nerissa, who smiled shyly 
I said, yes, I think that. Now we would be honored if we could have your blessing and permission to join at your wedding, said Gratini. So Bassanio answered him that would be a cause to double our happiness, like it's two weddings, Bassanio and Portia, Gratini and Nerissa. Nerissa following the lead of her lady and she gave Gratini a ring and made him promise never to part with it. There was happiness everywhere in the big house, especially after friends started to come for the wedding. And Lorenzo arrived accompanied by Jessica. They also had some news. We got married, said Lorenzo to his friend. She is such a good and kind, hearted young, hearted young woman. Then Jessica said that she never trusted anyone, but he helped that Lorenzo helped her and didn't let her down. She knows then that she could depend on him for the rest of her life, said Jessica to the ladies. Okay, what happened to Jessica and Lorenzo? If you remember the last chapter, Jessica is the daughter of uh, Shylock. And, he, and she was always she uh, she is do she was always doing the housework. She was tired of scrubbing the floor, cleaning cleaning the house, wash the clothes, and cooking. Always, no one helped her, and she felt like her father doesn't love her. He he makes her wear the old clothes of her mother and refused to buy a new one. He was very greedy on her. And when in one day she was looking from the window like a prisoner, she found out like there is someone staring at her, which was Lorenzo. And she got confused and she go to close the window, but then he called her, wait, wait, what's your name? And she answered him, Jessica. And this time started their story and she told him about everything about her father and she wanted to escape from home and he helped her to escape from home. So now that's why she is saying that she never trusted anyone, but she trusted Lorenzo because he helped her and didn't let her down. <clears throat> At the end of this chapter, a messenger came from Venice. He was sent by Antonio. It was clear that there is something important. There is important news. What do you think? What happened? What's the message about? Let's go to chapter six, which called Antonio's in trouble. What do you think? From the name of the chapter, Antonio in trouble. Let's see. <clears throat> The messenger handed Bassanio a letter written by Antonio. Dear Bassanio, I hate to ruin your happiness with your bride, but I had to let you know this. My ships are all lost. They faced trouble, terrible weather, condition and storms at sea. Now I have no money to pay my debt to Chilok. The three months are up and I must give up him. I must give him <clears throat> the bound of flush. He insists on taking it from the nearest place to my heart. My only wish is to see you for one last time. You are my dearest friend and I don't want to die without saying goodbye to you. What about news? What do you think Bassanio is going to do now? He have to help his friend like he helped him. Already Antonio started to help Bassanio. He was helping him all the time. And now it's the turn on Bassanio. Bassanio's face went white as he read the note. There was a look of sadness and fear in his eyes. What is it? Asked Portia. Portia's asking, what is it? Bassanio told her, 
everything, telling her about Shylock and the bond. And told her that Antonio's now in prison. Shylock has taken the signed bond to the Duke of Venice and Antonio's now awaiting the trail. Shylock has been telling everyone that he only wants his bond of flesh and he doesn't really care about the money anymore. <clears throat> this is what the messenger said. Like, as you know that Shylock hates Antonio, so it's time for him to revenge. He don't need the money, he just needs to revenge from Antonio. Because Antonio was always good with people helping people and lend people money without any interest. Portia said, I have a solution for this. Antonio is your dear friend, Bethany. So I'm ready to give you any amount of money that Shiloh will be satisfied to take. So Portia helped or offered her help to save Antonio, like Antonio's help, Bethany, a lot of times before. So now she is ready to give him any amount of money to Shylock that will be satisfied to take. If you have to offer 20 times, if we have to offer 20 times the original sum, I will be happy to pay that for you, she added. They agreed to speed up the wedding ceremony arrangements so that Bassanio and Cretini could travel back to Venice quickly to help Antonio. So now, they're speeding up the wedding ceremonies, like, you know, she is very rich and she have a big, big ceremony, but they have to speed it up to go to help Bassanio. Which means that this Portia was a good person with a good heart who's, who decided to help Antonio because he is Bassanio's friend and he helped Bassanio a lot of time. 